One of the most common complaints a health provider receives from their patients is dizziness. If you've experienced dizziness, fogginess, unsteadiness, or just feeling off, you know that it can wreak havoc on your day-to-day -day life. My name is Dr. John Saunders. I've been in clinical practice for 18 years, seeing patients with a variety of spinal related health conditions. In this video, I'm going to discuss 20 common and maybe surprising causes of your dizziness. It is my hope that this video will provide you with some potential solutions to your fogginess or dizziness. At the very least, it is my hope that it will at least provide you with questions to ask your provider in order to get to the root cause of your dizziness or vertigo. Before I get into some common and maybe surprising causes to your dizziness, I need to say this. Sometimes it can be a medical emergency. If you suffer from any of these symptoms you're gonna see next, please seek out the emergency room as soon as possible. So let's get started right away with 10 of the most common causes of dizziness or vertigo. Probably the most common cause of vertigo or dizziness that I see in clinical practice comes from the inner ear. Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, Meniere's disease, an ear infection, all of these things can impact your vestibular system and cause a host of dizziness symptoms. In order to fix this, you need to address your inner ear problem. Blood pressure, either too high or too low. This is something we commonly see in clinical practice when we take someone's blood pressure. Another common cause associated with blood pressure is something called orthostatic hypotension. This is when you go from a seated or a lying position to an upright position and you experience a lightheadedness or a dizziness. This is often caused by your sympathetic nervous system unable to adapt quickly enough to change blood flow to the brain and you might experience dizziness. A third common cause that we often see in clinical practice are medications. Certain medications can cause a dizziness, lightheadedness, or that feeling of uneasiness. Blood pressure medications themselves, especially if they've been just adjusted. Antidepressants, medications that alter your blood glucose. If you feel that your dizziness or uneasiness is coming from a new medication or a change in medication, please speak to your doctor as soon as possible. Blood sugar, either too low or too high. Drastic changes in blood sugar is concerning. Please speak to your physician if you feel this might be contributing to your dizziness or vertigo. Concussion or head injury. This is well known even during recovery that this can be a cause of dizziness or dizziness symptoms. Pregnancy, this is one you just have to manage. A change in hormones like progesterone, this can cause blood to be pushed to your fetus or your baby and cause changes in blood flow within your body and this can certainly cause dizziness. Vestibular migraines. The vestibular migraine is a migraine that's predominant symptom is vertigo or dizziness. Sometimes it will be associated with regular type migraines where you're going to get tightness in your neck, you might have a throbbing in your head, you might have photosensitivity or an aura, but sometimes a vestibular migraine may only be symptoms of vertigo or dizziness. Another common cause of dizziness or uneasiness or unsteadiness is fear or anxiety. Psychological stress like anxiety can change your blood pressure. It can also change the rate you breathe. These can cause symptoms of dizziness. Another common cause of dizziness that we often see, typically more in females, is low iron. Low iron means less hemoglobin. Less hemoglobin means there's less oxygen carrying ability within your blood, and this can cause faintness or dizziness symptoms. And finally, one last common cause of dizziness before we get into some surprising causes of dizziness is cervicogenic dizziness or cervical vertigo. This is dizziness that stems in the neck. It can come from a variety of tissues in your neck, including joints, joint capsules, intervertebral discs, ligaments, muscles, and even blood vessels. As well, cervical instability in your neck can also give you symptoms of dizziness. In order to fix this type of dizziness, you need to fix the problems in the neck. The next 10 causes of dizziness might be surprising, but I do see them clinically from time to time with patients suffering from dizziness. The first one is dehydration. 
Dehydration reduces our volume of blood. If our volume of blood decreases, so does our capacity to carry oxygen to the rest of our bodies, including our brains. This can cause dizziness symptoms. Omega-3 fatty acids, or good fats that are deficient in our body, can give us those symptoms of dizziness. On the flip side, too many omega-3s, often associated with an increase in vitamin A, can also give us symptoms of dizziness. I will say though, that oftentimes it's a deficiency that causes it rather than too much. So an easy thing to try is to increase your omega-3s in your diet. Caffeine, too much caffeine is a stimulant. It will increase our heart rate, which in turn can give us symptoms of dizziness or dizziness-like symptoms. Abnormal heart rhythms or heart issues. If you think that this might be causing your dizziness, please seek the help of your physician as soon as possible. Allergies and sinuses. Allergies can create sinus congestion. When your sinuses are congested, it can block your eustachian tube and this can increase pressure in your inner ear, causing dizziness-like symptoms. You need to treat your sinus problem or allergies in order to help this cause of your dizziness. The TMJ joint, the temporomandibular joint, this joint is thought to cause dizziness in patients if there's inflammation or dysfunction around the joint. It is thought to do this because of its close proximity to your inner ear and the sensitive nerves in the area. If you grind or you have TMJ pain associated with dizziness, this is something you should explore. Hyperventilation, <sighs> anxious breathing, being angry, as well as heavy exercise can sometimes change your blood chemistry and cause that feeling of dizziness. In order to fix this, you need to try to relax your breathing, take your chest out of your breathing, and breathe through our bellies with our diaphragm. That is what we call relaxed, normal breathing. Vitamin deficiencies. A deficiency in vitamin B12 and a deficiency in vitamin D can also cause symptoms of dizziness. In order to know if this is the cause, you should get your blood levels tested to see if those vitamins are within normal ranges. Sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation and stress. These two can kind of go together. If you are sleep deprived due to stress or any other cause, this can cause hormonal changes. Hormonal changes could cause dizziness symptoms. As well, being chronically fatigued or tired will create a situation where your body is fatigued and you will lack coordination from the muscles and joints in your body. That may be causing your dizziness symptoms. And finally, one other unusual or surprising cause of dizziness may be coming from a specific muscle in your neck. The sternocleidal mastoid, or the SCM, that attach from the back of your skull to the front of your sternum. This muscle has some strange symptoms associated with it if it's dysfunctioning. This also could be classified as a cervicogenic or a cervical vertigo type cause of your dizziness. If you feel you have stiffness or pain in your neck associated with your dizziness or lightheadedness, you should have your neck checked to make sure that is not the cause of your dizziness. I want to take a few seconds here to discuss one other cause of your potential dizziness. A condition called persistent postural perceptual dizziness or PPPD is a condition that often follows a bout of dizziness or vertigo from a different reason. This can last months and be extremely frustrating for people. There are two main non-drug approaches to treating PPPD. One is cognitive behavioral therapy and the other is vestibular therapy. Both have been shown to have some effectiveness in treating this condition. Now by no means is this list of 20 potential causes of your dizziness or vertigo complete. There are dozens of causes. What I'm hoping is that this will open up communication with you and your healthcare provider to try and determine the cause of your dizziness or vertigo. Don't give up hope. When you find the cause of your problem, you can find a solution. If you like the content I'm putting out, please hit the like button below to show some support. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you can be informed when I upload a new video. Thanks for tuning in and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Stay well.